Hey guys, what is up? My name is Alan and welcome back to the YouTube channel. So in today's video, we're going to be trying out my three favorite competition drift cars in a set of Corsa. You might remember we might have done something similar like this, but with three of my favorite competition tracks, which we uploaded previously. Whereas this time, we're going to try out three of my favorite competition drift cars. So for the first car we've picked is the World Drift Tour 180SX. Now this car is a bit of an old school car, uh, if anyone is aware of the whole competition drift scene in this other car, so you might be aware that the World Drift Tour team has been quite well known for developing high tier competition and even street cars. But this is one of their older mods. This is a 600 horsepower SR20 that revs out to like 9500 RPM and it's all like 100% screamer. I freaking love it. So you might have heard earlier that this car revs out to nine and a half thousand RPM and this thing freaking screams. It is so much fun to drive because of it. It like, uh, you know, S chassis, especially the S13 or 180SX, they are quite known to be quite snappy as well. So this is a, a very fun car to drive compared to let's say an S14 or an S15. So, you know, yeah, this thing is a blast to drive. So revving it out to nine and a half thousand RPM, Flick it in all along the wall. But left foot brake there to try and keep the car stabilized. Out towards the clip point. Down shift the second gear. Clutch kick into the flick. Wow! Oh, <laughs> that's a bit much. Oh, yes. Oh, man, I love this thing. It's been a long time since I've actually driven this car. Even though I know I'd say it's my favorite, or one of my favorites, it's not a car I actually drive that often. But for sure, it is probably one of the best sounding and one of the best handling uh, drift cars in the game. Like, I don't know what it is about it. It is a bit old school. It is two, three years old of a mod. But uh, yeah, it is so much fun. And I think I think that's one of the things that's missed in, in mods nowadays is the car sound makes a massive difference. So here we go. Second run. Third gear flick. Oh. And you just keep the car planted. Always use the clutch with this car. Better transition this time. Way better. Flick it again. Oh man, this thing rocks. <laughs> oh, this thing. This thing gives me the chills. <laughs> so for the second car on this list of pro cars that I really do enjoy driving is the Pro Drift Academy S14 Zenki, uh, the Virtual Drift Championship version of it. Uh, yeah, this car is so much fun. This car actually got me my first Virtual Drift Championship uh, championship, and uh, yeah, this car has a great amount of memories, I suppose, in the sense that it's obviously a true on replica of the real life car. And um, this version actually has a different type of engine. It's got a VR38, um, it's got way more steering angle, and it's got a lot more grunt, a lot more grip. So this thing is a freaking blast. Now, we are on Mandelo Park for this one, obviously, but a hometown with the somewhat hometown car. Uh, so yeah, this should be a lot of fun. So here we go, leaving the start line. We're on the virtual championship version of Mandela Park. Go over the brow, we flick it in nicely. Woo! Oh, drop, dropping. Out towards the outer clip point there. Leave this clip point early. Yeah, man, this car is so much fun. Oh, yes! <laughs> Man, this car is so much fun. I actually have to stop talking when I'm driving it because it catches me off guard a lot of the time. That's how crazy this thing is. So, we are on the roof of this car because the interior in it is not the greatest, if I'm honest. But a bit of different camera is obviously not a bad thing, right? Uh, whoa! Now, like I said earlier, this car brought the 2019 Virtual Drift Championship. Allowed me to win it. Mind you, it was in a slightly different specification back then. But, and uh, slightly, it looks slightly different, but with the updated model, it looks absolutely killer now. 
and uh, this king is a freaking blast. The, this might look quite familiar actually to the EDC version. It is the same chassis, obviously, just different physics underneath. Um, that's kind of the differences between VDC and EDC. They run different physics underneath, but the bodies, you know, we can use the same bodies. This is like an RC car, right? Now, the engine in this car is nuts. It revs all the way up to 9,000 RPM for a V6 that is crazy. Making massive amounts of power, massive amounts of torque. Now, this version of Mandelo wouldn't be the most accurate versions of the track, but it's certainly still a lot of fun, even with this car. Oh, tapping off the wall. Yeah, I've done that before as well in real life. And uh, yeah, no, this car, a lot of fun. Really do enjoy driving it. But I don't think it's actually my favorite to drive, if I'm quite so very honest. So uh, I wonder what that car could be. So of course, the final car, it has to be the Product Academy S15. Uh, the Virtual Drift Championship version of this car is, again, like the S14, it is 10 times uh, as enjoyable to drive. The S14 was the originator that you might have seen earlier. This thing is the newest updated version. Maybe some of you guys don't really know, but the S14s and S15s uh, spiritualized or geometry are actually exactly the same. So when we won the championship in 2019 with that S14, uh, we ended up changing chassis to a 370, which comes to a very close uh, fourth place, I think, out of all of my cars, uh, out of all the cars, my favorite comp cars. But this car right here is probably at my almost favorite car to drive right now. It is bananas. Um, you guys have seen that on the channel a lot, obviously, so we're not going to spend too long on it because I'm sure you guys probably understand my fascination with this thing. But it is so good. It's doing so well right now in VDC. We're about to uh, debut it as well in Drift Masters this coming weekend by the time this video is up. And um, yeah, this thing is a, so much fun to drive. I really do enjoy driving it. So why why is this my favorite car? Why is this one of my favorite cars? Well, first of all, I think it looks freaking amazing. Uh, yeah, it, it just looks amazing. I think the car looks so good. Uh, the big wing on the back with the splitters, you know, the big wheels. It just looks gangster. And uh, yeah, that's just a credit to, to Joker Design who did a great job on this car, kind of fulfilling my uh, mind of what I wanted this car to look like. And, and he did a great job doing that. Now, the data of it is actually from the VDC uh, guys, which of course we are kind of somewhat encouraged to use as VDC drivers is to use their data. Uh, and to be honest, you're kind of at um, a disadvantage if you really don't. I don't mean that in a negative way. I mean in the sense that the VDC data is far superior that the guys, oh, whoops, they got the guys kind of have it nailed. And so this S chassis, S15 is, I suppose, the development of the old S14 that you would have seen previously. That S14 in its prime uh, won the VDC 2019 championship on an older kind of style of data for that car and uh, the geometry on it was a little bit different to what it is today and it was a little bit harder to drive. Now this car is a lot easier to drive. I feel like I can pinpoint it exactly where I want it to go and it just does it. And um, for that reasoning, I, I think it's probably one of my favorite cars uh, on a set of cars to drive and you guys could probably see it too from the videos that you see uh, that I upload to the channel and it's all based off this car because yeah it is probably my uh, my favorite car in the Proto Academy fleet right now of course we want to do some more things with the cars we know we got that S14 that is private mod this is a private mod the Z that we used last year the 370Z that's also a private car and I hope to eventually release them but uh, like all things, they all take time, and uh, right now, time is uh, time is a little tight. So guys, that is going to be it. Put it down in the comment section below. What is your favorite car out of the three cars that I picked for today's video? Of course, we will be back again this week for um, a quick update on Driftmasters Virtual Championship. Uh, that will be coming out on Thursday after this video, so you want to keep your eyes peeled on that one. So that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching and uh, yeah, talk to you guys very soon. Cheers and goodbye.